factories. They're saying they may start trying to implement uh, carbon taxes there in their economy. So we're seeing a shift. Yes, and I think it's exactly the same as what was done with Russia, because, as you know, in 2004, the Russian Academy of Sciences looked at all this nonsense. And uh, Dr. Ilya Ilarionov, who is the chairman of the, who was then the chairman of the Russian Academy of Sciences, uh, made a great speech uh, after hearing Sir David King and other worthies from Britain telling him how terrible global warming was, saying it was quite clear that none of these people knew any science at all. The whole thing was nonsense, and Russia would not be playing any part in this nonsense. And David King flounced out in a half and came back to the UK and was promptly sacked. Uh, but... What then happened is Tony Blair had a meeting with Gas Putin, and he said, look, if you um, would like to join the World Trade Organization on favorable terms, then all you have to do is at least say that you believe in this global warming stuff, even if, in fact, you carry on digging up your methane gas and piping it to Europe or all the other things you want to do. But if you at least say you believe that global warming is going to be terrible, then we'll let you join the World Trade Organization. And that is exactly what happened. Within six months, Ilarionov was gone from the, world, from the Academy of Sciences because he wasn't prepared to change his tune. And Putin appointed somebody else more agreeable to the new political reality. And I think they've done exactly the same with China. I think they've, they've quietly agreed behind the scenes that they would go public, Britain and America, and say to China, OK, we acknowledge publicly that Tibet belongs to China. Well, of course, it doesn't. It belongs to the people of Tibet. But don't try telling that to our government or yours, because they don't care about the people of Tibet anymore. They care about playing politics. And I'll tell you why they're doing it. I'll tell you why they're going to these drastic lengths to kick human rights in the teeth, to kick the people of Tibet in the teeth, to kick the people of Russia in the teeth. Why are they doing this? Because they know by now that they've got it wrong on the science. They all panicked and galloped off in the same direction because it meant more taxes, more regulation, more powers by politicians to save us from ourselves at our own expense. That's what they were doing. And they now know that they got it wrong. And they know that their only hope of it not becoming blindingly obvious to everyone that they got it wrong, the entire governing class of the world got it wrong, is actually to put in the measures that they want to put in to shut the world's economy, particularly the West economies, down. Of course, ultimately, this is the real objective. It's to shut down the economies of the West. And then, when the warming that they had predicted doesn't happen, because by now they know perfectly well it isn't going to happen, regardless of whether we burn lots of CO2 or not, then they will say, there you are, our measures worked, we had it right all along. That's the game they're playing now. It's a strategy of complete desperation. They know they've got it wrong. They know they're beginning to be found out. The climate gate emails, the endless revelations from the IPCC, these um, failed uh, reports where they made huge errors, sometimes deliberate, and refused for years to correct them until it became impossible to hold the line anymore. All of these things have embarrassed world governments hugely because governments don't ever like to admit that they got something wrong. And when they have all bet the farm on this global warming thing as strongly as they have, you can see how very, very difficult it has become for any of them to back off from their positions. Now, of course, the environmental extremists, you know, the, the people like Greenpeace, they're not going to back off because they depend absolutely on global warming being acknowledged as real for about three quarters of their funding. Well, Christopher, hold on just a second. So we're going to break in a moment. I want to get into your deep research on their uh, latest stratagem to bring this deception forward and, and, and from your deep research, really quantify who the leadership of these people are and what their world population reduction uh, end game is in, in this new scientific tyranny where they suppress our development but then allow their select corporations uh, and government groups to move forward. The website is scienceandpublicpolicy.org, scienceandpublicpolicy.org. Literally everything he said in the last decade has now been admitted. It, exactly as he said it. I mean, it's devastating that they're, okay, we did fake the Himalayas melting. We did lie about the rainforest. We did lie about the polar bears. We did premeditatedly lie about you know, CO2 causing all this warming. I mean, it's incredible 
but we've got about two minutes till break. Briefly, we've got all these IPCC authors coming out saying it's a fraud. We've got Pachari admitting all this stuff. Can you just briefly recap their total implosion of credibility that's happened in the last two months? Well, here's a very nice little example of it. Pachori was due to come to a conference that I attended in, in southern India just uh, a few days ago. And I was speaking at the conference, as was Professor Fred Singer. And when Pachori heard that we were going to be there, as well as the usual suspects saying it was all going to be terrible, he refused to come because he knows that as a railroad engineer, he is totally incapable of uh, maintaining an argument on, on climate. He, knows, he just doesn't know enough about it. But the other thing was that his so-called bogus charity, uh, TERI, which operates out of India and also has a subdivision in London, that had agreed to put a million rupees of funding into the uh, conference, organized as it was by a religious foundation. Three days before the conference began, Terry pulled out its funding on Pachori's instructions, saying that they were unhappy that skeptics such as Singer and Moncton were being allowed to have their say at this conference. Now that is going to get them in trouble with the charity commissions, not only in India, but also in London, where they have already been caught out filing bogus accounts for, for three years, grossly under-declaring their... Well, Lord Moncton, isn't that a form of bribery to, to, to tell conferences we won't give you the money if, if you have people critical of us at the event? It is entirely against the charity law, as well as being a form of bribery, and Pachori ought to go to jail for it. But, of course, these people, uh, as, as they, they know now, they're untouchable. All right, stay Pachori there. Uh, Lord Monkton's our guest. We've got to go to break, sir. We'll be right back. More key info straight ahead. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones. You've heard me talk about Calbin Five Star Soaps for years. This is an American-made product of the highest quality and compares to nothing you will find in stores. You can buy factory direct, shipped via UPS right to your door. Check them out on the web at 5starsoap.com or call 800-340-7091. Take my word for it. Once you've used pure soap, you won't buy anything else. Since 1947, Calvin Soap Company has been showing consumers that soap can be tough on dirt and gentle on the environment. Buy American and stay clean, as well as support InfoWars. Visit 5starsoap.com today or call 1-800-340-7091. Well, Marty, what do you have to say? As founder and owner for over 63 years, satisfaction is guaranteed or double your dirt back. Call us at 1-800-340-7091 for a free catalog or visit our website, 5starsoap.com. Thank you. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Listen up, friends. This is Alex Jones with Key Information. The mainstream media is now admitting that we're going into a depression. Don't be dependent on the government for you and your family. You need to get your own supply of high-quality storable foods from eFoodsDirect.com. They're the best company out there, the longest continually operating, with a ton of great food to choose from. It's all fresh and made on a monthly basis, not some old cruddy food they're selling you like some of the other guys. Try their new evacuation pack, a two-week supply of delicious, easy-to-fix food. It comes with all the equipment you need to prepare it. With open talk of a strike on Iran in the next three months, the crisis in the Gulf, and possible evacuations, get yourself and your family ready today. The place to go is eFoodsDirect.com. Go to their website online right now, eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex, or call 800-409-5633. Again, on the web, eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex, 
or give them a call at 800-409-5633. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go back to Lord Christopher Moncton in just a moment of scienceandpublicpolicy.org, an essential site. Do you understand that the globalists, the one-worlders, openly want world government? They have put their entire investment in global domination through this pseudo-religion. The UN admits it. They're a bunch of atheists. But they say people need a religion. It's going to be of the earth. We're going to dictate everything. We're going to decide if you can have a factory, have a plant, have a job. The West has to make all the cuts, India and China and Mexico and 160 other countries, zero cuts. They've just got to go along with it. But the third world itself is to have its resources cut off that will cause massive death and degradation. We cover all of this in my seminal documentary, Endgame, Blueprint for Global Enslavement, available on DVD at Infowars.com. Show it to everyone you know. Make copies of it. Air it on access television. Give it to your local county commissioners and city council. And one other special we're running, if you get the Obama deception, the seminal film that shatters the left-right paradigm, that shows how both parties are being controlled, that shows what the megabanks are doing, financing the carbon taxes, all of it is covered in this film, the Obama deception. You get free, twenty four ninety five value, Jesse Ventura with Dick Russell, American Conspiracies, twenty four ninety five hardcover book. But only while supplies last. This should probably go another week and a half or so. We're going to be sold out of this, and we're not going to be offering it anymore. We'll be offering the book at the regular price. But when we have to reorder, it's going to go up. So get the Obama deception and get a twenty four ninety five book free after you read it. It makes a great gift to give your friends and your family. Infowars.com. You can also support our broadcast by becoming a PrisonPlanet.tv member. All 26 of my films, many other documentaries like United We Fall about the North American Union, uh, Camp FEMA, uh, Don't Tread on Me, it's all there. So many other great films we've been authorized to post. My book, Paul Watson's book that are both out of print. The live simulcast of this three-hour radio show every day live at PrisonPlanet.tv in Living Color. And, of course, it's all archived there and a higher quality bit rate uh, commercial-free podcast. It's all at PrisonPlanet.tv. And we couldn't have done any of this without you and all these guests and all these informative lovers of liberty and truth that we're able to bring on the show and give a wider platform. Now, uh, Lord Moncton, I'm not trying to pour gravy over you, but you really do deserve it. And you're a model of, of, of stick to itness for more than a decade in their face, being criticized, being attacked, them calling for your arrest in major newspapers as a climate denier and everything confirmed and now you're at the most prestigious scientific forums in the world and they're agreeing with you you're meeting with the top science advisor to the chinese government waking them up i mean the point is when we do take the field against oppression and tyranny and lies and neo-serfdom we are able to defeat it and uh, just just your spirit of resistance uh is a a great example to us all. So I want to thank you for my family and for my listeners for your tireless efforts. I know you crisscross the planet at your own expense fighting these people. Well, that's very, very kind of you. Um, not a word of that is really deserved, but uh, it's much appreciated nonetheless. And the thing is that, that uh, you may remember that a few months ago you were talking about how, how I get attacked a lot. Yes, they're, they're at this all the time now. They've realized I'm dangerous to them. And